Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Mario Plus Rabbid Sparks of Hope, the last Spark Hunter. In the last episode, we made our way here to the Concert Pond and met with Allegra, who I think is the warden of this planet. And now we're gonna be heading our way out of here and I guess just into the next thing. Right over this way, we have to go through the secret passage. All right, off we go. Ooh, a friend in need, catch up to Allegra. Uh, what did you say? Allegra went that way. She was in an awful hurry too. Is everything going to be okay? I sure hope so. So where are we now in terms of like the map? It says we're still in the concert pond. Uh, I don't know if that's quite the case. Huh, interesting. We're not really on the map at the moment, but got some cool looking birds. So where could Allegra be? Oh, there you are. Hurry, if you would join me. Uh oh, who's this? <laughs> They're spinning around. Hi. Ah! <laughs> Creepy. So is that the, the last spark hunter? <laughs> right on time. Oh, have I been looking forward to this. Counting on it, actually. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> I heard a lot about the galaxy's toughest fighters. Mario, Bowser, Edge. Gina. <laughs> Funny, because I sure never heard of you. It's Kanya! It's Kanya, don't forget it. You'll need it when you're begging me for mercy. Perhaps it's you who should beg off. Not one of Casa Spark Hunters has proven capable of stopping us yet. I'm no Spark Hunter! I'm no puppet of curses. I've got my own plans for those sparks and Cursa isn't a part of it. Release oh no. My friend. Whoever you are, you will release my friend at once. Leave the sparks here alone and be gone. <laughs> Sure thing. You got it. Ooh, I almost forgot though. Your pet, it's probably too late for it. Should have said something earlier. Uh oh. What does that mean? Forgive me. I, I am so sorry. I truly am, but I must go. I hope that their pet is okay. That's better. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, the difference between me and Cursa, I've got a king size vision for the future. Oh no, what is that? Uh oh. Oh no, what is this thing? A mecha king babob? It's huge. Oh no, we're in trouble, here it comes. Brace for impact. Oh, so we're fighting this thing straight away. This is crazy. Defeat Proto Mecha King Bomb. Proto Mecha King Bomb is such a crazy name. Okay, so I guess this is like a a boss fight in a way. I like the little rabbit ears on it. And there's a spark here. Hi. Until you do something about that giant robot shield, it's practically invulnerable. You'll need to use the bob bombs to do that. Kind of poetic, don't you think? Electro quake. When you defeat it, I'll be able to escape here with you. Notice I said when, not if. Got to think positive. All right, well, defeat Proto Mecha King bob bomb. I think we can do that. So first things first, can we take a look at them in the Beepo Tacticam? Inflicts explosive damage to enemies and cover blocks. It's protected by a special shield which can be removed only with bob -omb explosions. Gotcha. And of course we have, you know, some like title golems over here. And then we have you up that way. Kanya was her name, I think. So, I have to be careful. I don't see any bob -omb around is the problem. For right now, it looks like I might just want to defeat these uh, lone wolves up this way instead. So let's back out and try to think about our team here. I think I might want to do some longer range stuff for sure. I think we'll go back with Princess Peach. Then maybe we'll do Luigi. And uh, let's do Rabbit Rosalina like this. I think that's a pretty cool combo. Haven't really looked at their skills too much so far in this playthrough, so I think what we'll do, once again, remove the Spark Gift. Make sure that the NUI is as good as possible because um, we have some crazy NUI stuff like that. The Wake Up Slap is good. Um, but more than that, as long as we have the, the uh, NUI Dash, that's one of the most important moves, in my opinion. We do have two more points, so maybe yeah, I can improve this a little bit. Gotcha. I think I'll leave it like that. I mean, we have one more point left over. What can I upgrade with that? I don't know if there really is too much. Um, I can get some extra weapon range. That seems good. For Peach, she has two points. I definitely want to make sure that those are being used well. I could just go ahead and upgrade her health. 
and then upgrade her glide. There we go. And then lastly, we have Luigi, which we haven't really messed with too much so far. Uh, we can improve his Steely Sear damage. And then what was the other thing up here? This is additional Steely Sear charge. We really want that. So I think if we remove this, that gives us three points in total. We need one more point from something. So I'll go ahead and lower his health just a tiny bit. And that'll give us a chance to get an additional Steely Sear or charge, not damage, but still good. I mean, I could also try some of these. I think that will be fine. I think we'll be fine. Let's worry about the sparks that we have here. Um, I think for right now, it's always good to get the spawnable friends in. These guys are always just so good to just have extra units running around like this. So if I could get that set up, I think that's a good idea. And then we can also do the squash at master somewhere. Maybe something like that would be good. Okay, for Luigi, I want him to have more than just that though. I'm thinking lots of sparks to choose from, of course. And we don't have every sparkly. I don't think we have the sparks. There, there were some that I think were unlocked throughout the adventure that we don't have in this one. Because like there should be one that makes characters like invulnerable in a way. Maybe we'll just try like Cryobolide. That might be a good idea. Put that there. Uh, oh no, Rabbit Rosalina already has an Etherang. This is what I was thinking of. So that should be fine. And then we could also get a Wild Claw Master here too. I mean, I think we're fine with what we have. I do want to change Princess Peach's one thing. I think we'll do this. That feels pretty good. And whatever star bits I have, I definitely want to upgrade this one. Got it. So they're level five. And we'll upgrade Etherang. That improves, I guess, the turn. Nice. Like how many turns it lasts. And then I guess we'll upgrade these guys. We have a lot of servants, so we might as well try to master whatever we can. And they'll do the same for you. Okay, this is feeling pretty good. So let's go. I think we're good to fight this. We'll see if it turns out well. If not, we'll just try again. But we need to find bob bombs for now. We don't have any available, so if we can back up our whole team. Here we go. Dash, pick up, and throw. Dash, pick up, and throw a bob bomb that deal a lot of damage in an area. Oh yeah, can't stop I will do that as soon as I actually find bob bombs, but since there aren't any around at the moment, let's get over here. I definitely will dash into you. I gotta keep in mind that distance is what makes damage work for Luigi. We can get a squash out, a squash it for out for now though. There we go. We're gonna go for it. Ooh, for you. Ooh, that's pretty good actually. Nice. Uh. And then also, what is this one? This one's a scoper. So we probably want to be up high for this. Go like this. And I might just want to do a very similar thing. Yeah, I can. Oh, I can't quite reach you. Darn. I guess I could team jump off of Luigi though. Do something like this. That way we can at least just get the NUI on you. S spawn in a scoper. Just got to do this stuff. Keep ourselves nice and protected while we're waiting for bob bombs to pop up. Ooh, two strong shots around the golem. And then I will just hide out here, I guess. I could attack the golem some more. Luigi has one more move too. So actually, maybe we should just finish you off. There we go, we got you there. Go back to Rabbit Rosalina, go like this. Very nice. And then it's just Princess Peach over this way who can dash into you, who can spawn in an oozer. Whoa. Uh, okay, that was weird. <laughs> Anyways. Ooh, it even affected the, uh, the King Bob on there. This is such a cool fight. I do like this guy a lot, but I can't really do anything about it. Not until we find some bob -ombs, which once again, I don't see any anywhere. We'll get up here and then I'll try to hit that scooper. We can get you. So that's two enemies knocked out already. Pretty good start. You're gonna walk a little bit closer, but not quite enough to actually attack anybody more than this one scooper. Oh, and they're gone. Look at these other golems are getting a little closer. And the King bob -omb. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here they are. Okay. So they're going to be starting to march around a little bit. Okay. That one didn't explode. I think we'll just need some time here. No, don't attack the bob -omb. I need them. Okay. Well, we don't have bob -omb this time then. Unfortunate. But I can get over here. And I think. I guess I can spawn in another oozer. Just have them help out a little bit. Okay. So they'll blast you. 1,300 damage is actually pretty nice. And then Luigi, if you don't mind. Maybe, oh yeah, okay, that's actually perfect. So that'll get you into your little rock state where 
Rabbit Rosalina should be able to run over and just uh, swipe at you. Ready, and boom. Golem defeated. Who do we want to attack next? No really, there's not really a good reason to attack King Bob on there. So we'll get Rabbit Rosalina over here and we'll start attacking this one a little bit. Just start to lower their health, might be a good idea. They're resistant to fire shots though, so not perfect. And we'll get a scooper out to you. Okay. Where are they gonna go? Just way back over here. Nice. And I don't really know exactly what I want to do with Peach here. Hmm. I will set up Steely Stair. Maybe that wasn't a good idea though if the bob bombs are gonna come out. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, I wouldn't mind getting Peach out closer. I guess for now we'll just get her over here. I'll try to blast you a little bit. Almost enough to defeat you. All right, enemy turn. Are we just gonna blast you? Gonna turn into your rock form? I don't know when they pop out exactly, is the thing. If it'll just be at the end of this turn, then it's a little unfortunate, actually. Ooh. So they just throw an attack at the uh, squash at there, and then the bob bombs start marching out, marching out. But then they explode and stuff, and that's where like we're running into an issue. Okay, this is our chance to get moving now. Um, please just don't attack the bob -omb. Either resistant to that. Okay, here's our chance, and if we walk over here, you can see this is actually really simple. Uh, I do need to get rid of you too. I don't know, can Rabbit Rosalina get over there as well? Maybe not like this, but what we can do, look at all the range we have is Peach right now, it's crazy. Um, team jump, get over this way. And at least get this going, so get rid of you. Hide that there, and then get Peach to throw the bob -omb onto the Mecha King bob -omb or whatever it is, the proto Mecha King bob -omb. Oh, and this one's defeated, I didn't even notice that. So I guess we should deal with that soon. So the shield is down. We should probably, I need to get Luigi down there, but I can't. Uh-oh. I'm just now noticing that that's a bit of an issue. Yeah, I don't really, well, you know what I could maybe do? Yeah, I could, okay. Hold on, hold on, I'm just trying to make sure that uh, would this do damage? I don't know, we should try it. Ready? Got it, got it, got it. It does something, and the spark refresher kicks in for the next turn, but I wanna get up here, and why I'm doing this is so that Luigi can get down there and get rid of that one golem. That's sort of the plan at the moment, so get Luigi over here. It feels a little silly, right, but if it works, it works. So I just wanna dash into you so that's one more enemy gone. And I just send Luigi right back up here. Perfect. Then I can hide Luigi back here like this. We can aim up on you, and they're resistant to it, but we can at least shoot them. I don't know why it's a water shot, by the way. It just is. I don't know why all the weapons are imbued with like special things right now. I don't think it's the sparks, because I don't think the S-ring would do that. Okay, so I could do the NUI. I, I need to do that after. There we go. So. They're gonna get hit by all that. We'll do the NUI to make sure that they don't attack this turn, and then I guess I should have done something with Princess Peach sooner. All right, whatever, we'll end the turn. We'll see what ends up happening with you this time. I don't know when the shield pops up, but oh, well, it's gonna be broken now anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. Okay, oh, and it's our turn already. Wow, that's great. I was not expecting it just to go that well. Um, how far back can we get Luigi? Way back over here, maybe? I can't quite find that perfect lineup. That should be it. No, you're kidding me. Wow, it's just every angle is not working. Okay, this is good enough. We do a lot of damage with this one. Got it, 1900. So we're really damaging him down now. And if he moves, we'll get him with the Steely Stare. We'll get over here with Rabbit Rosalina. I think I just go crazy on you. And then we use S the Ring just to hide. And that way, very cool. We can uh, worry about some other stuff here. I might wanna run over. Oh, I probably should have team jumped wide the chance, huh? All right, well, not too much more I can do here besides like a long distance blast. So I'll get that done and we'll pass the turn. Cool. Yeah, that shield is down for a long time. We're landing some major damage too. Ooh, that hurt. And you're gonna throw out more bob bombs. And there's not really any other enemies spawning in at the moment. So this is looking really good for us. Okay, here we go. I was waiting for it to happen sooner or later, and it finally happened. But, oh, okay. So our friends here won't be able to do any damage. 
but there are still things I can do. Burst off, of course, dash into you, pick it up, and break that shielding again. We're at a really good spot now. So if I just go over here, I can start blasting it like crazy. So much damage there, for sure. So maybe now I'll get Luigi over this way, just so that I can get Peach to jump off. Then I will, oh, actually land about there. If I could hit both at once, it'd be great. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Okay, no taken. Maybe I'll just uh, set the shield like this. There we go, make sure everybody's nice and defended. Um, that way I can do this without too much of a worry. Sure, let's go for it. Boom, huge blast, 1400 more damage right there. And then Luigi can spawn in a friend, squash at. They can do their thing. The spark refresher. Okay, and we're getting rid of the bob bomb. <laughs> That's one way to do it. And then I just guess from here, I, I could actually fall to over. Might be slightly more damage. Oh wait, no it's not. There it is, there it is. Boom, got it. 1400 right there. So can anybody else attack really? I can use this again just in case. And I get the spark refresher again. That's crazy. So I think they'll have one more turn of being blocked off here, or not having the block. Oh no, no, it's back, never mind. It lasted longer last time, it's a little weird. Um, they won't have the bob on this time either, that's a shame. So I guess it's where the risk of being too close is. Ooh, and more of those portals are popping up, so this is where I gotta be really careful. Ooh, that's great, so we don't have to worry about that. That's not gonna do much. We still have a good few turns with this. I wanna save the scooper for later, I think. You can still see Kanye up there, chuckling away. Little did they know we're about to win this, as, as long as we can just hang on for a little bit longer. That's gonna be another squash head over there, by the way, so if I can make some good distance, something like this might be good. Honestly, I probably just wanna pass the turn, right? Not until uh, we can break the bob bomb stuff. The block. We really want to activate all of our stuff. Okay, so we should definitely have an opportunity to throw some attacks out with all this. I think Luigi will probably be the one we want to use, yeah? And then here comes a squash at. Oh, no, this is a squash, sure. Not even a squash at. Okay, so here's our chance. We do have the scooper over there, actually, already doing stuff. Totally forgot about that. So, boom, get you like this. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. And give it a good toss right over there. Gotcha. Then, if we spawn in a squash at like this. You're gonna be in so much trouble. Hopefully it attacks the right enemy though. It might not, oh no. Okay, well, it's fine. For next turn. Then I wanna back up as much as I can. Maybe way over here? This seems good. That is a decent chunk of damage, another thousand. So I can't spawn in a scoper, but what I can do is, yeah, I guess we'll go with this. We can slide into you, so I just go like this. I blast you a bunch get knocked over. I don't know if Peach could easily get over there, but I guess we could maybe try it. Give this a go. Can we spawn in an Oozer? Yes, we can. Here we go. This should be it then. Between the Oozer and Peach, I think it would be enough. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 434 damage. Peach goes for it. Oh, it's not quite enough, I don't think. It's so close. So, I think this should help out. The NUI, maybe that's what made it sort of extend to the next turn last time. I think it did. Oh, so is that enough to defeat you? It is, we did it, we defeated the, the Proto-Mecha King bob -Om. Oh. Oh, she's impressed. Uh, so creepy. Goodbye. Battle cleared. Very cool boss fight though, for sure. And with that, we get a level up and plenty of other extra goodies here too. I'm sure we have 250 coins, 1,420 star bits, and the Proto Mecha King bob uh memory. Awesome. So what's gonna happen now? Guess we scared off Kanya for the time being. Beepo, did Kanya's reaction to losing the battle appear odd to you? It was almost as if she were pleased. Oh. Given how hot-headed she is, I doubt we've seen the last of her. Huh? We must find Allegra immediately. She and her friend are still in grave danger. All right, so let's look for Allegra. Electroquake joins the team as well. That's great to see, and we are going after Allegra. 
a friend in need. All right, so we go ahead through these doors, and what will be on the other side? Here we are. Whoa. The path is flooded. That water completely cuts us off from following Allegra on foot. Oh, but we have a boat. Fortunately, the weight carrying capacity of that boat should be sufficient to ferry us after her. Yeah, wow. You call that a boat? Where's the wakeboard tower? Good point, good point. So use the boat to traverse the swamp. And we get some skill prisms attained there, which is nice. Can we get on to the other side? Ooh, we can. So it looks like if we can get a little blue thing, we might be able to discover a little bit there. So that's cool. Can I get over to that? No, okay, I see. I solved that puzzle. So we have an area to explore here. Is this gonna be more of, the, this is the swamp now. Gotcha. So we'll explore this as much as we can. And I'll have to uh, look around for any kind of little secrets. Maybe we'll have to come back later. Not quite sure, but it looks like there's a bridge over here. No one's going anywhere in this labyrinth without a boat, and I don't have my license. I don't think we do either, but we'll just probably wing it. And what is this? Whoa. Hmm. This looks to be the first of several artworks depicting some of the history of the Melodic Gardens. Ahem. <clears throat> some dawn songs ago, when the moon shone bright, a silver star fell upon the Melodic Gardens. We wondered if it had come to lead us to the lost melody. Huh, so I'll have to be on the lookout for those for sure, so we can learn more about the game. But for right now, field breakers are awful. These field breakers want to silence our song permanently. Can you defeat the three of them to change their tune? I sure hope so. So, how do we do that? Hunt down the field breakers. I don't see anybody running around right now. We need at least three field breakers gone. I know you can do it. I'll be cheering you on from here. So this is one of those missions where if we find those field breakers just out in the wild, we can knock them out and then come back here for it. But in the meantime, I have this I wanna pick up and we'll run with this all the way back over to the other side. So at least we're solving some puzzles as we start some side quests. Okay, right here. We're good to go through. I hear people whispering in the distance, but we get a memory for getting through this one. And that was an Allegra memory, cool. So I think with that, I think it's Allegra that I hear talking. I don't know where she is at the moment, but we'll try to get back over this way. And I think we're good to hop on the boat. There's not really anything else I can reach here. So. Up and on, board the boat. Boat navigation, move forward with L. If you need to accelerate, use X, but beware, the faster you go, the less steering position you'll have. Press B to go in reverse. Whoa, okay, so we're swimming around on the boat. This is great, so we'll grab some coins while we're out here. This is so neat. I thought it would just be like a cutscene, but no, we got get to actually fully control the boat. Grab a couple more over here. Now what happens if I get to the beach? It doesn't look like I can just like hop off the boat. All right, go through here. This is a nice little leisurely trip with the boat. We're about to get somewhere though. Whoa, that's a huge door. I am detecting two life forms beyond this gate. One significantly larger than the other. Huh. It must be Allegra and a very large friend. Oh, I suppose Allegra and a very tiny friend. Let's just hope they're unharmed. Hmm, there are no traditional locks on this door. So another puzzle to solve. That tree is Prunus arpeggialis, more commonly known as a sweeping tree. It has a symbiotic relationship with musical entities known as mellospheres, eliciting layered frequencies in inverse. Yes, yes, again, please try to separate your love of math from music while we're here. Oh, I never thought I'd long for the days when we traipsed around looking for keys. Ah, oh, well, let's find this sweeping tree and see if we can find out why the metal sphere stopped interacting with it. Huh, okay. So metal spheres and the trees. A friend in need, search for the metal spheres. Okay, we'll, we'll go a little bit faster. So I could dock right over here, I think. Yep, got it. 
Everybody's whispering in the distance, it's a little creepy, but I'll break these open and get a couple of extra coins, and ooh, yeah, we can go down here, where there's something to do on the road back to the jungle, level 34. Whoa, so maybe this'll be a bit of a shortcut if we can get it done. On the road back to the jungle, I see a lot of enemies here. You have to reach the area. Okay, so we should be able to do that. And with our current team, it might not be so bad. So if we manage our team, I just wanna make sure that Luigi has the double team jump. It's the one thing I think that'll be worth focusing on here. So we did the skill tree. We do have the extra team jump, awesome. Let's do an improvement on the gliding range. If we can manage, I think that maybe we will, uh... hmm. Actually, no, you know what? This is probably fine. Let's just take a look at how far we have to go. Lots of enemies over there, but we're just trying to get over that way. Which, if we can use like Rapid Rosalina to anyway them, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. We'll have to see how it goes. I think for now, I'll get Rapid Rosalina to go as far as possible out this way. Just like that. Not bad. Oh, not quite enough to reach you that, which is what I was hoping for. I could even make Rabbit Rosalina invisible here if we wanted to. Here, I'll go ahead and just blast you as much as I can with the Kaboomer. And then same thing here, I think. We wanna be careful, because I want, oh wait, I might have already messed it up. Oh, I might have already messed it up. I was trying to make it so that, <laughs> yeah, that didn't really work. Okay, it's fine. We'll pass the turn, I suppose. Well, actually, let's do a Scoper, so that the Scoper can get rid of you, I'd hope. There we go. That's a little bit better, right? Okay, perfect. We'll just pass the turn like that then, because I sort of messed it up. Oh, I didn't see this other scoper who will definitely hit poor Rabbit Rosalina here. So, how do we want to do this then? That's a lot of shielding going on. Some of them are moving up a bit more. I definitely made some poor decisions here to start things off with, but, oh. I don't know, if we lose Rabbit Rosalina here, I might restart. Because they're moving up a lot more forward than I thought they could. But it looks like that's all it's gonna be for now. Okay, there we go, we're fine. Ooh. So, let's just try to move these two up as far as we can, just like this, and just like that. From here, I think we activate the shield. Yep, team barrier, should be good. I would like to spawn in some extra friends too, so maybe an oozer. Just getting out there like that might not be too bad of an idea. The oozer's gonna move around and at least affect one of them and attack another one. Uh, back over here with Luigi. I wanna sort of save Luigi for now, but we can at least do his squash act. So. Ooh, they're gonna get blasted. I mean, at least it uses up the blast. I feel like that's still pretty good. I think at this rate what we should do Let's get Rabbit Rosalina up out there. I want Luigi to team jump off of Peach and just sort of see how far they can go. Like that. And then Luigi can team jump off of you and go like way over here. Pretty cool. It is a little bit scary though. That's where we do this anyway and we get a bunch of them just not be able to move, so that's good. Because Luigi has like, you know, some protection this round. So we don't have to worry about it too much. And there's not really too much more for Peach to do. So I guess if we wanted to, we could put up the Steely Steer for Luigi, blast anybody who tries to move. And then for Rabbit Rosalina, I should probably just use like a mushroom, a super mushroom bag, but maybe I'll save it for next time. Actually, I don't know, we'll use the mushroom bag, just like that. Okay, end the turn. Oh yeah. Blasting you, it's not much, but it, it's something. Luckily with all this shielding, we're not in too bad of a position. Okay, and then there goes some of that, but we're getting closer, we're getting a lot closer. Uh, more portals are popping up as we get closer though. So that is a tad bit scary. Ooh. Okay, so what can I do here? I'm guessing that maybe for now, we need to get rid of the one scooper that has like a target locked on here. I don't know, we might just have to take the shot. Yeah, there it goes. It's just the one though, right? Yeah. It is, but it's a critical. Yikes. So let's land about mm. here, and maybe do it like this. I don't know if this is really gonna work too well. This is where things definitely get a bit difficult. 
We'll send a lot of enemies flying, even send you off the side, which is nice. Not enough to take you out fully, though. Okay, I really should have given Luigi the, uh, the S ring, I guess. I'll get you over here, land you about there. And then we'll have Luigi team jump off of you. Just get you to go as far as possible. Not so bad. Okay. Yeah, I can blast you like this. Boom. Can't do too much more though. So we'll, we'll go ahead and make Rad Rosalina invisible with the unseen. And next time, definitely give this to Luigi. And then I think we just end the turn again. I think that Peach is in a lot of trouble this turn. She might get knocked out entirely. Luigi's taking some damage too. I'm actually a little concerned about that. Oh, you know what? Luigi's done for, for sure. Yikes. But I think that with the Estering, I think that's the name of the spark. I hope so. I've been calling that for the last two, two battles now. But I think that they, that lasts multiple turns. Wow, the goop has fallen. So I'm hoping we can just sort of walk to where we need to be at this rate. It might not be easy to do that. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Why are that cube falling? Well, and it's really not a very fortunate layout either. So, yeah, for right now, I'm still hidden. We might have to do this one again. I'm really starting to feel like that's going to be the case. Uh -oh. Okay. Just throwing in some more goop. Luckily, not blocking all of my paths, though, so I think I'm fine. But this definitely turned out a little rough. Okay. They're just sort of randomly walking around. They don't seem to know where we are, so. Oh, I'm not invisible anymore. Come on, that stinks. Let's go ahead and summon a scoper so that that at least activates the other scoper stuff. There we go. So we don't have to worry about that now. So I'm running over here. I could try using a cooldown clock, but then I'm out of moves anyway, so maybe I just go and I blast you. And I just leave it like that and hope that we'll survive this next turn. I don't know, this is getting a lot closer. Come on! The one time you couldn't have just given me the 50%. So ridiculous. I don't know if we'll make it. Oh, of course, that lands right on us, and then that will too. Oh, we're so low right now. We're so low on health but I think that's all that's gonna hurt us. Here's hoping. Because all this really isn't gonna do too much to us. And another enemy pops out here, so please just, oh no, please don't land on us. Please don't. I think it's a little too far for that. Okay, here's our chance then. We can first things first, get the unseen. And I have to be really careful here, because if I run into the gunk, it will end up hurting me. So maybe now is just the time to use another mushroom. Uh. Let's just use a mushroom chest, just like this. Ooh, please work indeed. We'll wait right here, end the turn. A lot more enemies are moving, but they just don't really know where to move to, so I think we'll be able to sneak our way into a victory here. We still have a few more turns to survive, so who knows. Oh, here they come. Did they know? Ah, oh, see, that's where I'm so happy I used the mushroom, because if I didn't, that would have been game over right there. Random chance. Okay, so this is where more enemies are coming in. I can't quite get to the end, but what I can do is use this. Then I can dash through you. We do take more damage from that, but I can end the turn right here and just, wait, wait, should I use, I do have, a move boost. Maybe I do use it here. Let me use it here just so that we can make sure that we can win. There we go. That was a really tough one. I probably didn't do it the easiest way, but uh, we get through nonetheless. Awesome, so battle cleared. Uh, we'll definitely have to replenish our items soon. We get 115 coins and 920 star bits. Awesome. So with that, we get on the road back to the jungle completed. We can grab all these, shake this bush. I definitely wanna get as many coins as I can find, so. Just looking around for whatever goodies we can find. And I'm guessing this will just bring us back to the garden we were at before, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, go ahead. Cause if not, what else is here, you know? Let's see where it sort of drops us off.
Okay, so, huh. Let's pull up the map again. Oh, we're up here. So I guess we'll explore more of the, the music jungle while we're here, because I guess we can activate this, and this will make a whole path over this way. Okay, let's really get it going. There it is. Gotcha. And then it's back at the checkpoint. Yeah. Very cool. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll spend the rest of today just sort of exploring this little corner of this island since we haven't been here yet. Yeah. I don't see anything down that way, but I should probably also activate yeah. this occasionally just to make sure we're not missing anything. I do see some extra coins we can get here. Yeah. Got it. And I think this is just another instrument you can play a little bit. Okay, so I do see this little yeah. sphere here. I can't move that. I can move this one though. That might be a good idea. I can't move that one either. Huh, whoa, okay. Whole huge bridge over this way, but I can't move this? Or is it because I'm in the way? Oh, I see it's because I'm in the way. So I probably want to move this like that. Okay. Ooh, what's back here? Okay, now we're getting to something. Whoa. What did that do? I guess it just made it, huh. It made it so that I can get past that, but the problem is, how do I get up there? I don't see a way at the moment, because I can't get through here without that blue thing. Oh, there's a ladder up this way. Gotcha. So actually, I do need to go back down. I need to activate this one more time. Hit that one, so that these switch. There we go. Now we got it, so now I head back up here one more time. Oh no, wait, I thought it was lined up, it isn't. So I just need to, one more time, get that, get up here. And then with this, you can lower this ladder. Here we go, it's a whole puzzle. Then I can switch this back on, switch that back over, and we're good to go, sort of. Gonna not be standing in the way. Back over here, get this blue sphere, and then with the sphere, I gotta bring it all the way back over that way. A whole situation. So drop that there. Got it, and, oh, you know what? We need to switch this back over. Funny how they can, you know, sort of pack in so much running back and forth in such a small area like this. It's a lot of work. But I can finally bring this over here that'll open up that doorway. And I think with it we get some kind of little secret pod, which is nice. So yeah, climb down here. And I don't think there's anything out here. Yeah, definitely not. So we're good to just, uh, be confused. Oh, this is something we can knock over. Whoa, all right. What does that do? Oh, I see. Now we can just get it to bring us up here. Gotcha. And there we go, that puzzle was solved. That was a tricky one for sure, but this is a nice secret to get. There we go. Jingle Jungle Planet Coin awarded. Very, very nice. I don't think there's really anything else to do on this side of the map. Really doesn't look like it. We've already, we started over here, I think. Yeah, so it looks like we've properly explored all of the music jungle. Cool. All right, so we're back out here. I think with this, we just probably need to jump back into the water and try to figure out a solution to this door. Oh, definitely grab the checkpoint. That'll make it much easier. The Dory's Lake flag. Okay, did I pick up all the star bits? I didn't, whoops. I definitely need these too. Got it, we're over 4,000 star bits now, so quite a lot going on. And if there's nothing else more to do here, yep, hop right back on that boat and keep it moving. I think we came in from that way, right? Oh yeah, so there's a lot more to do. We came in from this way, but we can go down there and a little to the right over here. What's with the glowy thing? Whoa, okay. So I guess, oh, you know, it's just sort of signifying that this is a dock. Gotcha. Yeah. So maybe we'll have a little bit more puzzle solving to do. Seems like it. Zoom, zoom in around, just as Luigi said. <laughs> it's all the people whispering out as it really gets to me. So creepy. Okay, so it looks like we have another puzzle in front of us, but right now, can go through this pipe, 
Oh, yeah, it's gonna be another secret planet coin. Cool. Because we were just over there before. Yeah. What is this? Oh, it's like a button. So that will allow us to go through there. I think that's probably what I want for now. Okay, so get this, go through this pipe. No problem. We do need to move some stuff here, but I guess for now, ooh, here we go. See, now we can definitely switch it over without a problem. There's a lot going on, but I think we can handle it. So I just need the green square, which was right over there. So if we can just switch this over, I should be able to access it without too much of an issue. Yeah, yeah. Yep, just push this over to this side, and boom, that door is lowered, and there's our green square. I'll go back over here. You can let it go, Luigi. Go back over here. I really like the whisper. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe not, oh wait, no, okay, for a second, I forgot about this, I forgot I just lowered this, I was being so silly. All right, grab this, go yeah. over here, and plug that in to wherever it's supposed to go, which I think is on the other side of this thing. Got it. Yeah. Pop that in there, and that should activate the cannon. So the last thing we need to do here is switch this over. I think the cannon will launch us onto the platform. Here's hoping. Whoa. Yes, it will, that's perfect. That's what we're looking for, so we can lower this now, climb back down, and then switch it over one more time so that we can get another hidden planet coin awarded to us. Just like that, very nice. So, a two pipe puzzle planet coin awarded. I don't see anything else to do around here, so I guess we're good to head back onto the boat. So we're back on the water. I don't know what else there is to find around, ooh, this way. We can go ahead through here. This has me curious for sure, just sort of what's on the other side of that, but I think that's probably where we'll leave it then. We'll have to see what's on the other side of the door and maybe be able to catch up with um, Allegra, if not anything else, in the next episode of Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope, The Last Spark Hunter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.